Hi, this is the Bofang um, GT3TP. Brought the radio today. Uh, it's the 8 watt version with the extended battery. Um, uh, what we're going to do is a quick couple of tests using uh, the Marconi Instruments radio test set uh, 29660. Um, basically, just do some power outputs. I might do a Synad test as well at the end. Um, so what we'll do is we'll we'll do it for both uh, two meters and 70 sems a UK calling frequency of 145500 and 433500 um, it's been fed into a dummy load which is the actual this um, so I'm not transmitting into anything other than this actual test unit um, I've kept the leads as short as possible to uh, maintain we get no losses so without further ado let's pair him up um, what we'll do, the uh, squatch level set to one, um, the both set to narrow band. Um, so we'll without it, um, we'll give it a try. Oh yeah, what I've done um, because I'm getting rolling and flicker off the screen on that. You can probably see it rolling up and down now. I've plugged in an external monitor. So what we'll do, we'll review everything on the external monitor. Um, and what we'll do, we'll do some basic tests. So this is. Um, Two meters calling frequency. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, um, we're getting 7.998 watts from that. Uh, the frequency was a little bit off, but I'm not going to worry about that. And the FM deviation seems extremely high there, but um, I did sort of bang the radio as I did it. And other tests I've done is come out around about 3.6. So if we now drop down to uh, 70 sems, we'll do the same test again. Um, reset that and reset that. Um, let's have a quick go. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, frequency is a little bit out again. Um, wattage 6.83 watts. Um, and FM deviation about 2.9 again a little bit low I'd expect that to be about about 3.6 something like that okay let's go into the menu on this uh, we'll go back to two meters menu that power select and uh, drop that to mid exit that we'll do the same for Going for mid for that. Okay, so we'll do the same test again now for um, mid power. Um, so we'll reset that and we'll reset that. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And again, um, deviation around about 3.63, which you'll expect, and the power uh, 4.8. 875 watts which is a little bit over what it stipulates because it's supposed to be 8, 4 and 1 watt um, I'll do the same now for 70 sems I'll reset that and reset that testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and we're showing a power of 4.7 97 watts sorry uh, a peak deviation of 1.92 again low but this could be just down to my voice really to be honest so I won't worry about that too much um, let's go back into the menu now and we'll set it to uh, Power. set it to low for both um, go to 2 meters um, let's bring that back over there menu This is the uh, CNAD test, um, signals to noise levels if you like. Um, we've set the generator to uh, 145500, uh, we're on a 2 metre band testing that. Um, level roughly is about 134 microvolts which isn't too bad, um, or in dB it's minus 124.5. Uh, set that back to the microvolts again. Um, I said the deviation frequency is about 3.5 kilohertz and the uh, the frequency test tone is 1 kilohertz. 
Um, it's fluctuating around 11, 12, 13. It's not very stable for some reason. I'm not too sure why, but um, it is fluctuating a little bit. Um, but that's well within the uh, parameters of what the manual says. It should be less, less than uh, 0.2 microvolts. Um, we've got 0.134 there, so um, I think that passes okay and the sensitivity reads okay. Um, obviously, the same results on there is just, just an extension of that sort of thing. Basically, we feed the signal in through the antenna and read the output on the speaker output. I generally put about one volt in um, AF level. Um, I do that for all the everything I test, really. Just gives me um, a, a benchmark to compare against, if you like, really. So, um, but yeah, I hope that helps. Um, I shall go out and play with the radio at some point. Um, I just wanted to give it a quick test first really and see what the power levels were. Uh, whether 8 watts is going to cook my brain, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I think it definitely needs a better antenna. I mean the one they've supplied is so short it's, it's hardly even worth considering really. It's the same length as that basically. Um, I'm looking at one of these flexible type antennas. Um, there's a 48 inch one which I'm thinking of buying. Um, I basically want to use this. Um, I'm in motorbike really so i uh, just go to a few of the set peaks or whatever obviously I'll have to walk to the peak but um, and uh, do some activations um, so that's the that's the plan for the summer anyway so um, but yeah I'll, what I'll do is I'll show I'll do another video when I've got the flexible antenna connected to it and I'll show you what that's like 